Hi, welcome to my channel. This is True Divine 44 and Jennifer Roberts. So this is just a quick video for the daily messages, just the energies that might be around prevalently and how you can work your way through them to your best advantage. If it works for you, take it. If it doesn't, just leave it behind. So there's this feeling of with the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. The High Priestess, you know, she's she's the hidden knowledge. She's she stands between the pillars, which is the, the hidden occult knowledge, occult melum hidden, um, the secret knowings, the ancient knowings, and the pillar of intuition also. Um, she's the energy that surrounds the earth. She's the yin and the yang. She is the perfect balance of the divine feminine and divine masculine. Um, the rainbow colours that she's making here in the cauldron um, this dragon representing the high priestess, um, representing the, the seven levels of initiation. So the levels that ultimately it's thought that we should all go through, that we should all um, work through, level up through um, and learn from, rather than what we often do is keep repeating cycles because we, we haven't learned the, the strong lessons that are going to make the character, make the spirit um, make the make the soul whole, um, the yin and the yang, the balance, the dark and the light, the balance, the secret knowledge and the actions and day to day, putting it to practice, balance. So there's that energy underlying. It's this divine feminine energy which is um, not to be mistaken for weak, uh, very very strong. Um, the support, the 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 nurturer, the holder, the 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 energy that holds space and time for creative creativity to blossom, and um, for creation to 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 expand, um, become new. Um, she has the knowing that that energy will go on in all forms. Um, it'll transmute, it'll change. So we're all going through, when we go through through these levels of initiation, you know, the trials, tribulations, the happiness of life, um, we're all going through a constant state of death and rebirth, death and rebirth. Um, when you become a mother for the first time, second time, third time, fourth time, you're a new mother, a different mother to each child that you that you give birth to. The same with the father. You know, you're never quite the same father to each different child because that child's individual and it births something new in the parent. And that's representative of all things in life, of all walks in life. So there's that underlying knowledge inviting you to know more, to go within, feel your way through things with intuition and try and see the deeper side of, of this this creation that we are, this 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 body that we're in right now, this advantage to being able to touch and feel and see and taste things. Um find gratitude in that. Find this find the the small, simple but a huge things in that that you know we, we have this experience, we have this lifetime to do what we will to to um to attain everything that we can possibly attain. So this Divine Feminine is inviting you to spur yourself on, feel your way through, um, do it with an intuitive um, energy rather than um, action, action, action energy. You know, feel your way through, take your time, but, but don't stop, flow, flow through things. So there's that invitation there, the underlying energy of today. To be honest, that underlying energy is prevalent right now anyway, this rebirth of the Divine Feminine, um, rebirthing into everyone's consciousness, um, into into the, the knowing. She's never disappeared, just the people, us, you know, the many who um, decided to ignore the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, um, you know, we put a veil over it and, and you know, slowly but surely, um, very surely, many people are ripping that veil off and experiencing the true nature, the true power behind the divine feminine energy. So the next card is death. So this goes alongside the high priestess, that divine feminine energy so well, because this represents what I was talking about before, this constant cycle of death and rebirth. 
death and rebirth, the changing. And so it, it's not meaning today in this reading, literal death. It's the, it's the don't fear the change, don't fear the transmutation. You know, this, this, um, this scary object here that the death card um, carries, now what is it called? But it's not an axe, I've forgotten what it's called, but it's not an axe. It's actually a farming tool um, to clear the ground for new growth, to, to you know, make space and time to invite this divine feminine energy in to rebirth something new, to really um, delve deep in, into your creative juices and see where you want to go next, see where you want to be um, born into next, what, what walk in life, what action do you want to take, um, what kind of person do you want to be next? And and you can choose that. You can absolutely decide that and um, do it with intent and and create beautiful, beautiful things in your life today. So sometimes the changes can seem initially, um, the changes in life can seem initially frightening, upsetting. Maybe certain people are leaving your life, certain um, situations are, are ending. Uh, what the death card is saying, it's inviting you to just um, have bliss about that. You know, see that you can make this for your greatest good. Whatever the situation, whatever is ending, um, you can actually transform and mould your new beginning into a new beginning that is good for you. And the next card is the Three of Cups. So that's, you know, um, like minds coming together for me in this reading today. Um tribes finding other tribe members you know um family members bonding and not just blood but you know finding um similarities and differences that you can respect in other people um flames that are alike coming together to shine even brighter in collaboration with each other um this is this is you know it's um it's a sweet card it's a celebration card it's a you know you can make things through whatever you choose to transform into during this death process, you can mould a space for yourself with people that you really can click with, people that you can really have dialogue with, people that can really um, stir your passions and, and you can have fun doing it. It doesn't have to be doom and gloom, this death process. It, it can be a celebration, uh, um, a celebration just as you would have when a, when a gorgeous baby is born into this reality. So then the last card is the six of coins. And for me in this reading, it's the it's representing the fact of be aware, be generous, yes, and accept generosity of others, especially when you're collaborating and finding people that you can really be you with. Um, but be discerning, be discerning with your energy. It's um there's again balance in that, you know, have the have the um wisdom of the high priestess, the yin and the yang, to know that ultimately, yes, it's great to give, yes, it's great to be generous, and, and even more so it's brilliant to be generous with your energy, with your thoughts, um, with during friendships, during relationships, but Ultimately, keep it in balance. You don't have to give away more than you are getting or more than you can create in self. Um, I've been guilty of being um, a people pleaser for too long. It's it's a level that I had to initiate myself out of. Um, and that can be tiring. It, it, it leads to burnout. It leads to actually you not even giving the same quality of energy, of work, of friendship, um, of love that you would usually be capable of because you've, you've spread yourself too thinly. Um, so it's, it, it's, it's the knowing that it feels great to give, it feels great to receive, but you know, have it in balance, have it in its, its rightful place of let that be a flow, um, not, not just an outgoing, not just a current that's going from you constantly. So that you don't drain yourself and you can sustain yourself through that. So that's just some of the energies of today. Um, if you feel them, I hope this guidance helps you. I hope it inspires you to um, make today a different day. Um, there's still many hours in the day left. All of the different timelines that are going on. 
um, you can you can create you can mold and transform yourself into whatever you want and the energies around you around us all today from these cards that I've pulled are support in that and and holding space and time for you and cheering you on so much love love you all please keep calling in I'm trying to grow this business this um, channel the Facebook page uh, all of you who know me know that I love people I love making a difference for people um, and I'm getting better at accepting other people's generosity and other people's help so um, I'm putting it out there that I'd like you to share this I'd like you to keep enjoying whatever I can put out there for you and uh, be whole be balanced I love you